Hey, it's Afonique, and today I wanted to discuss how important transitioning has been for me as far as being able to get to the point where I'm eating a low-fat, raw, vegan diet. So, a little bit over a year ago, I was on a SAD diet, the SAD um, Standard American Diet, which mostly consisted of meat and processed food, processed meats, you know. Stuff I was eating out of the grocery freezer aisle. I didn't do a lot of vegetables, and I would say rare occasion did I eat fruit. So it was a very, very sad diet. Um, and there was no way, and I think for the majority of us, there's no way to go from eating that way to going to eating just a, a diet based on nothing but fruits and vegetables mostly, with just a little bit of nuts and seeds and over fat. Um, I think it's it's just I think that's just a lot to try to take on. For most people, you'd have to be highly motivated, I think, to be able to go that far. Um, I think maybe if you have a serious illness, that type of thing. But I think even at that point, it is going to be really difficult. Um, you know, we're taking out cooked foods, oils. There's just a lot of things that have been removed from the way that I used to eat that I no longer eat. So I think in transitioning has to be an extremely important for me. And so I'll just kind of go through the different transitions that I've made um, to kind of give you an idea of if this is something you're interested in, like just little steps that you can take to work your way towards it. So you're not trying to do it overnight and maybe getting frustrated because you're really struggling with it, but just take steps to get healthier and to, you know, work towards that if that's your goal. So, um, like I said, when I got so when I got started, the very first things I kind of did to try to eat in a in a more healthier way, and also just kind of change my taste buds, is one of the things I did. I was eating meat at the time, so one of the things I did was kind of cut back on the meats that I was eating, on the different types of meat. I cut out eating pork. Um, I used to love bacon cut that out. It was just one of those things that stood out that was not very healthy so it was one of the first ones that I cut. And then also I transitioned by taking out the red meat and replacing that with turkey. You know using the turkey for my spaghetti for my burgers and then also kind of eating more chicken and more seafood. As far as meat is concerned, um, kind of my last transition before I stopped eating meat all the way was I went to just eating seafood and then I took the meat out completely. Um, as far as, um, and also while I'm doing this, I'm introducing fruit into my diet, like eating fruit for breakfast, and then also introducing vegetables in my diet, make sure I always ate some vegetables with dinner. And I went from kind of eating the canned vegetables to going and doing the fresh. So again, that was another transition. Um, also, as far as the processed foods, going from, you know, buying a packaged meal of pasta that was in the grocery's freezer aisle to actually, you okay? Excuse me. <laughs> so actually going from um, doing that to actually going out and buying the pasta, buying the sauce, buying the meat so that I, I can start cooking, you know, because in order to get healthier and to get away from the processed foods, you have to cook, so which I was not doing. So then I'm transitioning myself into being able to prepare the foods myself. Um, and getting off the fast food, so then I stopped eating fast food also in that process. And then, you know, being able to have more control over what I'm putting in my food, so I was lowering my salt, you know, by not eating these foods that are already prepared with a lot of salt that require that as a preservative. So that was a way I transitioned um, from going to a low sodium diet to now I don't even need to eat any salt whatsoever. Um, another thing, um, let's see, let's look at the dairy. I did earth balance for my butter, which I actually did that before I even um, went vegan. I just happened to pick it up because it said organic on it. And then after I went no dairy, somebody was like, here, you should try earth balance butter. And I was like, this sounds familiar. And I look in my fridge and I'm like, oh, I got it already. I was like, this stuff tastes, I never knew it tasted, it tasted good. So you can definitely use stuff like that as a transition. Um, I transitioned with the cheeses a little bit. Follow your heart was one that I did end up finding that I did like. So that can be a transition to do the follow your heart um, 
vegan cheese that was kind of the one I liked the best out of the different cheeses that I that I tried and then um, they even have raw um, vegan cheeses now which I've never tried but that could be something else you could like try as a transition to get off of you know the dairy and the cheeses and then um, so I did that so then once I got rid of the dairy got rid of the meat then I'm considered vegan at that point huh I mean, what got me from vegan to um, raw, basically, um, I would say it was just, I don't know, going to restaurants and trying it first. It wasn't really something I really did at home. So at first, it was just kind of trying it at other places just because of kind of the time it took to kind of make those things and not having a dehydrator and things like that. Um, just kind of introducing more raw into my diet like it was easy to do a raw breakfast of like fruit something like that and you know that type of a thing and just kind of introducing it a meal at a time and then working up to being able to eat it more throughout the day and things like that and then as far as from going from the high raw high fat raw to the low fat raw like for my oils I kind of started like um because i was still doing some cooked foods so i would use water instead of oil if i was trying to cook something in the skillet or something like that um when it came to salt i tried to find alternatives to salt like um sea um it's a sea seasoning dulce dulce i believe it's pronounced i could use like that on my food and it kind of had like a salty flavor to it and i could use that instead of salt um i did go like healthier with my salt that was a progression that i did also as far as salt was concerned going away from your regular standard table salt to then going to like um, kosher salt which I don't know if that was better but I've also tried kosher salt and then even going to your more expensive your Himalayan pink salt because I know the more colors to it um, is the it's supposed to be like the healthier it is so then my transition for grains um, first but I started with my bread so I found out I wasn't eating like actual wheat bread I was just eating brown bread that I thought was wheat and so the first thing I did was go over to whole wheat bread and then I went to sprouted bread and then eventually I got to the point to where I was um, no longer eating bread at all by um, finding other ways to kind of wrap things um, like wrapping things things and leafy greens to make like tacos slash burritos that type of a thing and then as far as the other grains um, um because of the gluten thing first going over to the gluten-free grains and then for like my baking and things like that and then switching over as far as not really doing rice anymore but going more towards quinoa and then I pretty much kind of ate quinoa for the most part. Quinoa and millet were kind of the two grains that I ate right before I switched over to not eating any grains whatsoever. And then as far as seasoning, spices, dried herbs, that type of thing, um, we um, go into the fresh ones instead, using the fresh ones. And And that's pretty much all I can think of, of all the different ways I've, trans, um, I've transitioned from eating those different things. Um, if I've left something out and you're kind of wondering how I transitioned, um, let me know. And if you have any tips for anyone on different things that you've done to be able to transition and kind of remove some things from your diet, then please um, share in the comment section below. Alright, thanks for watching.